Hey guys, it's Marisa. Welcome back to my channel. How is everyone today? So I got some some of the paints I ordered in. Now in my last video, you know, I did try these guys out and I didn't particularly like them, but I wanted to try them in conjunction with these guys. This is called, I think this is the American Crafts Premix Pouring Paint. And what we'll color? Sapphire and Copper. I did order two more colors. They're also blue colors. And then I wanted to also add um, the Folk Art. Now this will be coming in tomorrow, okay? And I did not order any more of these, which is good because I didn't care for them, but I wanted to try another technique and kind of mix them with all this new stuff. So this is all new to me, okay? So we're gonna do like a little experiment. Um, what I want to try is some blooms on these tiles. Now usually my bloom, uh, like my cell topper, is the Amsterdam with the Floetrol. What I wanted to do was just to try the white folk art and just add a little bit on top for the bloom and just see if it works. Um, you know, so it's just an experiment. I may not get cells. It may not work, but I'm thinking maybe with like a bloom technique where like I'm blowing out, um, maybe this paint will work better. Also mixed with um, this stuff. So this is American Crafts, Color Pour, and this stuff is slightly thicker. Uh, this is a metallic copper, uh, a metallic copper, and this is really pretty sapphire color. Now this stuff is a little thinner. I actually like, poured some out, and yeah. So this is kind of the same texture or thinness as this one. This one's slightly thicker. I just want to do an experiment and I'm going to do some blooms on these uh, tiles today. These are my last four tiles. I make it some more. So yeah, let's get started. And again, this is the uh, jungle set and this is emerald green, deep turquoise, chartreuse, and sky blue, and the ready to pour. Yeah, I want to see if I can like kind of use these guys here in different techniques. Maybe they'll just work better. I don't want to waste them. And like I said in the last video, I just want to like mix them with other paints and see how they behave. So let's get started on the experiment. I'll see you guys in a sec.
Hey guys, I'm back. So I am really, really, really happy with the results. I am so happy that I tried this. I just knew that these paints are way too thin and I knew if I added them uh, to other paints that I think that it would work better. And I am really happy with this uh, folk art because look at that. Uh, usually the um, Floetrol and that Amsterdam Titanium White uh, really works well, but this is so pretty. Um, it's a little too much white in here. I think I added a little too much white, but look at this, how beautiful. Very ethereal, like these guys here. Um, I just love this combination. I'm really happy, and I'm actually really excited to be getting more of these. I'm going to get two more colors and then the folk art I'm actually going to get uh, three more colors. So I'm actually excited for that. So now I know that these work well with at least these paints here and that I can actually use them. So I really hope you uh, like these. I think, you know, these came out really pretty and I'm really happy with them. So, you know, guys, if you enjoyed this video, just give me a thumbs up, subscribe, um, you know, leave a comment, let me know what you're doing uh, during this whole quarantine, let me know how you are, I am thinking about all of you out there, um, share my video, and you know, um, all my links are down below, if you want to follow me on social media, also if you want to further uh, support me, I do have a PayPal link in the bottom, you can leave me a little tip, uh, it does help uh, me buy more supplies for making new videos for you guys. That would be awesome. And I really hope you enjoyed this video, guys. And I will see you in the next one. Bye. Take care. Hey, guys. I'm back. So, you know what? It's the next day. Uh, you guys just uh, saw me make these beautiful guys. I just want to get back on real quick and qu very quickly showed you how beautifully they dried. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. I love that one. And look at this copper is, these are a little, oh, here we go. Look how beautiful that copper is. I don't know what that circle is. I guess that's like the paint. Um, but it's still gorgeous. I mean, look at that copper with the white. So this worked really, really well. I am in love with all of them, especially this one. I really like that one and that one. This one does add a little too much white, but I just want to show you those. I didn't put the backs on yet, the little, um, uh, sorry, the cork pieces. I did not put those on yet, but that is the next step. I don't know if I want to like, um, put uh what's it called a gloss coat on top because i actually really don't want to lose this pretty copper so i may just leave them alone i don't know right now i'm leaving them alone they're perfectly dry they actually dry really fast but what i really want to show you was the rest of my orders came except for one quick thing which was unfortunately i had not unfortunate but i had bought another paper pad from Michaels and unfortunately um, was really pretty too it was called Dreamcatcher and someone stole it from my building uh, my super actually investigated and he did not catch who did it but he did see that the postman did deliver it and someone stole it so that's unfortunate but we're working on that but Anyway, the rest of my orders did come through. Um, I did get more. I get like a small thing of liquid diamonds. Uh, it is quite expensive, so I only got a small kit this time um, because I spent, you know, I spent some money on paint. But look at these. Indigo, this is the American Crafts Indigo. What is this called? Topaz. And those are the ones that I already use the sapphire and the copper. Look how pretty those are. I'm really excited to use them. I got some more canvas from Michaels. And I am actually really excited to start to try the folk art uh, because this white really, really worked well. Uh, actually, mixed with that, but I 
my in my next video I'm gonna do probably two different paintings one using um, these guys and one using these so it'll be like two and one and I'll be like reviewing both of them uh, just like I want to do separate I don't want to like combine them I just want to see how they behave separately on their own but this is purple aqua bright pink and then the white so I'm really really excited look how pretty these colors are they're gorgeous I'm really happy and yeah so um, I will see you guys in the next one and I'll be doing uh, I will be reviewing um, these guys and then also um, I think on Monday the 11th supposedly um, I should be getting my primal flow orders um, so my subscription box and then also I ordered three paints on top of that um, yeah so I'm excited about that I will do an unboxing uh, without the box because I'm leaving the boxes outside, but you know what I mean. Um, yeah, so uh, guys, I love you all and I will see you later. Bye